Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. Today, we are going to do a much-requested video. So, um, I have been asked several times um, about AccuQuilt machines. I've been asked about um, what do they cut, how do they cut, um, does it waste fabric, is it worth my time to get one, um, which machine is right for me. And so only you can answer those questions for yourself. But what I will tell you is I'm going to show you the three machines that I have. So the three machines that we're going to compare today are the Go Me, which is a smaller one, the Go Big, which is the electric machine, and the Studio Two machine. Now, each one of them is awesome, and I use them all for different things. I'm not saying that you need to have three cutting machines, because you don't. <laughs> but um, we're going to just jump right in, and I'm going to start showing you how, they, how the different machines work, how to lay the fabric out on the dies, and we'll just go from there. All right, so the first machine we're going to start with is the Studio 2. And the Studio 2 is uh, more industrial. It cuts more layers of fabric. It is, of course, you can see you, you, wind, you uh, roll it. Um, it comes with this tray. And you have to use this tray. This is what you'll put your dies in. And this is what the dies look like. They are wooden dies. They are heavy. I'm going to flip that around. Oh, you can't see it. Brandon's going to do a demonstration for you, so you'll get to see what it looks like. So, But this is what you'll need for that. You also have to use a special um, cutting mat. So when you're using these dies, you use plexiglass. And you, you get this off of um, AccuQuilt.com, just like you would regular mats for your your go machines and whatnot. Um, but this one takes the plexiglass as opposed to plastic. So here Brandon is cutting out some minky to show you this die. So this is what the die looks like for the Studio 2. And this is where you're, these are the pieces that you're gonna cut out. There's blades underneath here and they're very, very sharp. So you wanna be careful not to cut yourself. This is the Sunbonnet Sue that we're working on. And I am doing the quilt kits with this, but for this demonstration, we're gonna use Minky. And Brandon is gonna show you how we do that. So he has gone ahead and cut just enough Minky fabric to cover that. All right, and now we're gonna go over to the studio and show you how this works. All right, so we've got the die set into the tray. And we've got our plexiglass on top of it. And now Brandon is just going to move his arm out of the way and roll that for us. And voila. It's sticking to our plexiglass, but you can see that we have all of our pieces cut. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that would be such a cute little blanket for a little girl. Um, so, there you go. That's how you cut minky. Now, you're only supposed to cut one layer of minky on the Studio 2, but I can usually cut um, two or three just because I like to live on the wild side. So, um, But it's not recommended by AccuQuilt to do that. So if you do something like that, it's at your own risk. And if you mess up your die, you have to buy a new one. Um, so next, what we're going to do is talk about how many layers of cotton fabric you can cut on this Studio 2. And you can cut up to 10 layers of cotton. Um, I believe that the recommendation is 8. I have cut 10. And so when you're cutting out a quilt... Uh, it's really easy to cut, you know, almost the whole quilt in one swoop. So which one would All you right. like me to do? So Brandon is going to demonstrate how to cut the cotton fabric on here. 
and he's just gonna fan fold. We're working with scraps, as you can see. So he's just gonna choose whichever one he wants to cut. It doesn't matter. So there's three. Okay. And Which part are you cutting? I'm gonna do the uh, the bonnet. bonnet. Okay, so make sure that that's covering. It's there you covered. Go. Okay. So that's three layers so far. Four. Four. Five. Six. Six. Seven, eight. Should we stop there? Yeah, I would stop there. And you can just, yeah, trim that. Because we're going to use this again. I know. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to go and we're going to put the plexiglass on top and we're going to cut it. All right. Go ahead and put that on there. So, and you can see these cut marks on the plexiglass. That is actually normal. So if that happens to you, don't get, don't get worried. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So now Brandon's going to feed that through. Am I going the wrong way? Hold on. I don't know if you have the die right. No, I do. I just didn't get it started. Oh, you didn't have enough leverage. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's what happens when you're trying to stay out of the way. Right. Sorry, I should be on this side. Okay, and so now you can see all eight layers that cut all at one time. See that? Eight layers all at once. So that's pretty nifty, right? I mean, I'm just, this machine, I'm always in awe of it. And I, when I'm in a hurry to cut things or if I'm cutting, um, a lot of binding or like when I'm doing the quilt kits and stuff, this is what I use. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the different dies. So here is a go die. And um, all of the dies are labeled for you so that you know what you're getting here. If I can just get to the right spot. So you can see here, it tells you it's the five and a half inch square and it's five inches finished. What's great about AccuQuilt is that once you get these dies or when you buy from their website, it actually tracks the dies that you have so you don't duplicate. And then this is the studio die that we just cut with so you can see the difference. Again, it shows you the same thing on the side, but this is the difference here. So the studio die is much thicker than this die, than the Go die. But What's cool about the Studio 2 is that you can get an adapter and you can also use your stu your Go dies with it. So that's what we're going to use next. This is the Go adapter that you will need for your Studio 2. And also the tray is longer. And you can use um, get the Studio adapter for the shorter tray. But in this, in this case, I bought the larger one. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the, the tray. Oops, that was just the uh, plexiglass. Okay, so now you see that that's there. We're going to take our square go die and we're going to place it on top of this adapter. And Brandon's going to run and get some fabric. Now when cutting with your go die, you still need to make sure that you're only cutting the max layer that is recommended for this. I believe it's six layers of cotton. We're just going to do three. But we're going to do three. And then you have to use the plexiglass with this cutter. You can't use the regular plastic mat, even though you're using a go die. Okay? So I'm going to roll it through. And it's hard to do while holding a phone. <laughs> but then you'll see that it cut our squares perfectly. Okay, so now I have this for my my scrap bin and I got some of my scraps cut, yay. So that is how you use the conversion kit. That's how you cut with the Studio 2 and a Go die. All right, so the Studio 2, once you're finished with it, it actually folds up and stores for easy um, storing purposes. 
And so Brandon is just going to show you how you fold that up. And that's it. And then when you're done with it, you can pick it up and store it um, in your closet or wherever. So if you're short on space, that's what you do. Or if you have a space like I do and you have a place to store it, um, I keep mine on this table at all times. And then the dies, in case you get dizzy, <laughs> this is where I store my dies for my um, studio too. So I have a rack that I got from AccuQuilt and that stores my um, large dies, but my jumbo dies I store off over here off to the left and then the smaller ones are off to the right. The next one we're gonna work on here is the Go Big. Now this is the electric um, fabric cutter by AccuQuilt. And I love this one because I have arthritis in my hands and this really saves them a lot from even that rolling motion. Um, this, you just put the die in, it goes through and it cuts your fabric and you're done. And it cuts a lot of layers of fabric as well. So Brandon is gonna show you. So this is for easy storage as well and it just folds out, okay? And then you plug it in to a power source and then you just click that button and it's ready to go. So this will only use Go dies. You can't use Studio dies in this. So anything that's labeled Go fits in this, um, this die. So Brandon is gonna cut up to six layers of fabric here. And he's gonna just fan fold. Well, he's gonna try and do six. Do we have enough for six layers? No, we got enough for four, I'm afraid, because see, we're still missing. What about in the scrap bin? One, There's a gazillion two. scraps. Oh, there is? Okay, mm -hmm. three, four. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna demonstrate for you how to cut four pieces of cotton, cotton and two pieces of flannel at the same time. With the go, you're gonna use a mat like that. So you use a plastic mat and it does say go on it. Um, and then you're just gonna go ahead and slide that through. I got this. Okay. All right, and then Brandon's gonna give it a good rub on top because of static clean. Static builds up in there. And hopefully it cut all those layers. And it looks like it did. Voila. So two layers of flannel and four layers of cotton cut in less than, I don't know. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So you can see how quickly you can cut a quilt on here. Now, show them the waste that you have there, Brandon. So we have quite a bit of waste and the reason is is because the way that we laid out the fabric on the die so you can actually cut your fabric so like this is a five and a half inch um, square you can cut your fabric at six inches and fan fold that on there just perfectly and you will not have hardly any waste at all um, so it's all in how you prepare the die. But since this was just scraps. Right. Since care. it's scraps, we don't really care because I'm going to end up cutting that again for smaller scrap anyway. So, um, but this is the AccuQuilt Go Big. Again, it stores um, perfectly too. If you're in a small space, it cuts um, longer strips as well. And you've all seen me use these um, strip quilts or strip dies. This is how I cut my um, my border strips and this is how I cut my binding strips. And I can cut up to I, six layers of fabric at once. So I get all of my strips cut and, you know, in one full swoop there so I don't have to keep cutting. So the other thing that I wanted to mention here is that the Go Big is the only one that will work with these larger dies that are 14 by 16. 
And when you're working with these dies, these are called block on boards. Um, and they are wonderful because it's the entire quilt block. And you can cut, like I said, up to six layers of cotton so you can cut your whole quilt out in no time. Um, so this is the mat that you'll use if it's right on top of that die. And when you're looking um, to purchase dies, it will tell you on the website what the dies are compatible with. So you can see here that this one is compatible with the Go Big only. It's not compatible with the Go and it's not compatible with the Go Baby. Um, the Go is another cutting fabric cutting system that is in between the Go Me or the Go Baby, the Go Me and the Go Big. Excuse me. It cuts the same thing. It's similar to the um, Go Big electric cutter, only it's a little smaller and it has the, you have to roll it through. It's not electric. It is recommended to store your dies this way also by AccuQuilt. They do not recommend storing them on their backs like I have here. You should store them on their sides. In this case, I don't have anywhere else to store them or any way to store them because this is too short. So this is how I store some of my dies. But mostly, as you can see, I store them this way. So the next fabric cutter that we're gonna talk about is the Go Me, also known as the Go Baby. So what this one does is it will cut fabric the same way that the Go Big, the Studio, and all of them will cut. However, you can see that it has the, the handle that you turn, um, which the Studio and the Go both have, and the Go Me, they all have that, that winder there. And um, the electric one is the only one that is electric. But I wanna show you, cause I get asked all the time about what size dies fit in this one. So this one also is for easy storage. Now, I use this one for scrap, to cut scraps. I find it to be very easy to use and it's just small enough and you can just sit down with it and you can watch a movie while you're cutting a bunch of scraps. It's just, it's wonderful, I love it. So, the largest die that will fit through here is a six by 12 and you need a six by 12 mat to go on top of this die. So it fits like that. You'd put your fabric on here and you'd roll it through and it would cut all of your layers. Again, it cuts, I believe, up to six layers of cotton. And each die also, I wanted to mention that um, these dies that have applique, um, you once you purchase the die, you get the free embroidery file with it too. So if you have an embroidery machine, you save that on a jump drive or you send it to your machine wirelessly. And when you're, um, after you've gotten everything pressed down, you can actually put this on your embroidery machine and it'll stitch everything out around your little wheels or your truck or whatnot. So every applique die comes like that. I just wanted to show you this one because it's my favorite and I just got it. And this is the new gnome die and I think it's so stinking cute. This is an owl die. Um, this is a very cute pattern and actually AccuQuilt has quilt patterns and table runner patterns and all kinds of patterns um, available to you for free when you sign up on their website. Um, but this one, this die is so versatile. It actually will make a bunch of different animals using just this one die. I highly suggest checking that out. But I'm gonna do a demonstration really quick on how to use this. And you've seen me do this, I think, with, um, whatchamacallit, what am I trying to say, scraps. <laughs> so anyway, so here's where you just put that on top of your, your little die there. Oh, and I need, a, I need a mat. Got a little ahead of myself there. This is the mat that I'll be using. This mat is, I wanna say six by six. So if you were using this longer one, 
you would need a six by 12 mat to go on top of that. So, okay. So I'm just gonna give it a little push through and then I'm just gonna roll it. I'm gonna rub out the static, slide it off. And I have all of my little owl pieces now cut out. Except because they're flannel, they're sticking to each other. And that's the waist that I have left. And here is my perfectly cut out little owl. Okay, so that was two pieces of fleece. I mean, I'm sorry, flannel. So play with it, see what you can come up with. Um, like I said, I like to, you know, use this to cut my scraps. Let's see how many we can cut here. We'll, put, we'll cut this circle out. Let's see if we can get a bunch on here. I just want to see if it'll cut it. So eight layers of the cotton on this one as well. So if you want to just get one that's, um, you know, for just cutting scraps or smaller projects or applique, then I would say that this is um, probably a great machine for you. If you're looking to do bigger projects like cutting strips and things like that for quilts, then I would say that either the Go Big or the Studio 2 or even the Go um, is the right machine for you. So um, take a look and do some reading on, you know, the different machines and, you know, decide. And I know that they can be um, a little pricey, but, you know, they save your hands a lot of work and it saves you a lot of time so that you can spend more time making quilts instead of cutting. So that is is the Go Baby, or the Go, I'm sorry, the Go Me. I don't know why I keep calling this the Go Baby. It's the Go Me, and you fold it up, and now you can store it. Okay, and when you purchase a machine, you also get this book from AccuQuilt, and it is packed full of quilting ideas, what to cut, how many pieces you need to cut to make these quilts, all these different designs. So it's really, really, um, I love it. It's awesome. So here's one that would be a great sampler quilt if you wanted to do something neat for your home or even that. So you get this book and also just wanted to mention here, um, I am an Amazon, or I'm sorry, I am an Amazon affiliate, but I'm also an AccuQuilt affiliate. <laughs> So if you purchase through any of the links that are below in the description box, I will make a small commission on that. This video is in no way sponsored by AccuQuilt. Everything that is here, I have purchased with my own money. Um, I use their products. I pay for my own products. And it's because I I love the way they, they're just, they make my life so much easier for cutting. So today, this sale ends today. You get a free Go Me cutter, that's the smaller one, if you spend $300 today. So you could buy yourself some mats and dies and get yourself started on a really good path there and get the free Go Me if you spend 300 bucks. Um, it is also buy one, get one 40% off the Go dies and mats when you use code BOGO40. Now, I want you to know that you can only use one coupon code per transaction. Um, and that one ends on 419. So there's that. And that's it. So 
if you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays and keep on crafting. See you later. Bye-bye.